look at this, I'm in Brisbane International Airport. Uh, it is three hours before my flight departure. I have come down for border processing in and check-in. So I need to do that prior to going to my check-in for my flight with Singapore Airlines. Uh, there's no one here, I'm too early. There's several other passengers here with me and we're just waiting for the border processing to open up. So during border processing, they will check my exemption to leave Australia, my Swiss residency, my uh, approval to enter the country, that, uh, my destination country, and um, check my passport. So once I've done that, I'll be able to go. Um, and in terms of the airline, the airline also requested my copy of my passport, a copy of my approval to enter my destination country and my negative COVID test. So I needed to supply that all, of, all to the airline via email uh, yesterday, so 24 hours before my trip out of Australia. So things have changed, travel is quite different. Um, yeah, I'll uh, get you some footage of the airport and let you know what it's like to leave Australia. One day, hopefully, we'll all be doing it again soon. passport and my exemption to leave Australia and then I was directed to go straight through to check-in so I went up to the Singapore Airlines check-in and checked in that took quite a bit of time because she needed to check my negative COVID test my uh, permission to enter Switzerland my destination port and uh, obviously passport uh, a temperature was taken and um, then my bags were checked and then she had to call Canberra just to make sure that my um, uh, passport block was overruled or something like something along those lines and now I'm about to go through departures and uh, yeah so there's nothing open here obviously there's no access to food uh, apparently there's vending machines three hours until my uh, aircraft departs. It's over lunchtime, really not prepared. I should have um, eaten more before I, before I came here. Um, but I was just advised that the lounges in Singapore, that I do have access to them flying in from Australia. So I can go into the, uh, into the business class lounge at Singapore airport during my transition uh, once I arrive. So happy days, good news. Brisbane Airport. Welcome to the Australian Airport Security Screening. Aviation security screening is a cooperative approach between government and industry participants. To prepare for security screening, please follow these three steps. One, remove all liquids, aerosols and gels from your hand luggage and place them into the plastic lags bag provided and then have it ready for inspection by the security officer. Two, remove all laptop computers from their cases and place them into the screening tray provided. And three, place small items and valuables in your hand luggage before approaching the security screening point while ensuring all personal travel documents remain on your person. Brisbane Airport Corporation thank all passengers for their patience and understanding. We wish you a safe and happy journey. Thank you. Subway was open, Brisbane Airport. Subway's open, it's the only food shop that's open. There's only one girl behind the counter and I think everyone on my flight is now buying food at Subway, very exciting. And I'm about to head through to gate 88. And I've got two hours, two hours left to wait. Yes, fun, fun, fun times. Hello. 
Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Back to front, inside ah, okay. out. 16A. All right, I'll just put it back here. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Only one in business class. Okay, so I'm on the plane. Um, to from Brisbane to Singapore flight time is seven hours and um, there are actually myself and a family of five in business class so we've got mum and dad and three kids and um, yes I've ordered a wine with dinner <laughs> <laughs> to get to this point has been very stressful. Uh, the border control, the check-in at the airport, the immigration, everyone's very friendly but it's, it is stressful because there's so many checks, there's so many protocols, there's so many pieces of paper um, that once you're on the aircraft it, it, there's a big sense of relief and I think that I'm going to, to sleep, actually sleep very well on the leg from um, Singapore to Zurich because I'm just going to be so exhausted and relieved to be uh, going back home to Switzerland and, and seeing my gorgeous family there. I just need to tell you something really important about getting your uh, COVID test, your PCR test, within that 72 hour window before leaving um, Australia. So it needs to be done within 72 hours of your departure day and time from leaving Australia. My initial departure date was March the 1st at 4.30pm in 2021. So I needed that COVID test after 4pm on the Friday before. Now the approved testing centre closed at 4pm Friday and opened again at 9am Monday. So it was impossible for me to meet the 72 hour test deadline because there just wasn't a COVID testing facility open over the weekend. So I had to cancel my ticket and move my flight to the next Thursday so that I could meet the 72 hour um, limit prior to departure. So I called the COVID hotline and they advised me that I needed to see a general practitioner and get a pathology request form to take to an approved lab to get the test and the required paperwork. So I went along to a local GP, um, I received a pathology form to get a PCR test and I took this to the lab, which the lab then informed me that the information I'd been given was incorrect. They could not accept my pathology request form for the PCR test. I had to go to the lab website, which I've included um, the details of that in a previous screen. And I had to register on that website and pay for a travel COVID test. Then I had to print the confirmation of, pay of payment uh, and that included my passport details, date of birth and address. And then I had to take this printout to a testing facility. And the testing facility has to be a testing facility for travel. The vast majority of uh, PCR testing in Australia do not supply the paperwork that you require for government and airline um, exiting from the country. So you need to go to a registered COVID testing facility for travel. So you need to get in touch with the labs that do the COVID testing for travel in your area and find out the procedure unique to where you are in Australia. I know, just try Lavity. Lavity seems to have uh, it pretty much under control and an online system that works quite well. Now it's very stressful. Um, and it, it makes it worse that the information from the official phone line was completely incorrect. It was just awful and the guy was pretty rude as well. So, so yeah, try Lavity and um, I wish you all the best.